Thanks so much for tuning in. Please make sure to subscribe and like and turn on the notifications so you can get the latest updates from Jimra. everyone, it's Leslie here with Jimra. Welcome to this advanced mat Pilates workout. All you'll need for class today is a yoga mat or a Pilates mat and any set of light weights anywhere from one to three pounds. We'll get started in a seat. Go ahead and grab your weights, bend your knees and place your feet down onto the mat. Bring your weights into your chest with the elbows wide. We'll just start out nice and simple. As you inhale, lower down into a C curve, and as you exhale, pull yourself back up to a tall spine. Just nice and simple, starting to warm up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Press those feet down into the mat. Every time you inhale, make sure you're going low enough so you get that nice C curve in the spine, and exhale, make sure you're pulling yourself all the way back up to a tall spine. Keep going. Last five, four, three, two, one. Pause with the tall spine at the top. Now take the weights so that they're facing up, palms face up, and the elbows are in next to your ribs. As you inhale, Reach the weights forward, come to that C curve, and then exhale, pull up. Inhale to go down, exhale, come up. Keep going. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. We've got 10 more. Exhale, nine, exhale, eight, exhale, seven, exhale, six, exhale, keep the belly in, five, Exhale, four, exhale, three, exhale, last two, exhale, one, exhale. Now inhale to that C curve with the weights out long. Stay for the exhale and then inhale, just reach the weights out and in. Out and in, we're just doing 10. Eight, seven, keep that C curve, six, Breathe, five, four, three, two, one. Pull yourself back up to a tall spine. Pull those weights into your chest and lower all the way down onto your back with your legs into a tabletop position. Take the weights forward as you inhale. Again, take the weights wide. This time, extend your legs to a high diagonal and then exhale, pull the weights back in. Just a variation of the 100. Inhale and exhale. Keep the lower back pressing down and the head and shoulders off of the mat. Point your toes as you extend those legs long. Inhale and exhale. We've got five more. Exhale, four. Exhale, three. Exhale, two. Exhale, one. Exhale, rest. Lower the head and shoulders down. Great, good work. Bring those feet down onto the mat, hips with distance apart, and we'll set up for a Pilates bridge now. So take the weights to the hips, and we'll just start with a warm up doing 10 times lifting and lowering the hips with the weights on the hips. So lift and lower. Squeeze those glutes at the top and really press those feet firmly into the mat. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take the weights, goal post your arms. So your arms are like cactus arms. Keep your feet exactly as they are. As you inhale, lift up the hips, reach the weights, overhead press up, and then lower back down. We've got nine more, nine, and down, eight, and down, seven, and down, six, and down, five, and down, for four, down, three, two, one. 
This time, lift up the hips, pull the weights up and over the overhead press, and take that right leg to a high diagonal, lower it down, lift it up, put it down, and then lower back down. We're doing nine more just that, like that. So lift, right leg, lower, and lift. Right foot down, lower the hips back down. So we've got eight, right leg up, right leg down, right leg up, and lower. Seven, up, down, up. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. So the right leg up, down, up. Now this time I want you to keep the hips up after that last round and then lift onto the ball of your left foot. Lift the right leg high to the sky. Now keep the hips up this entire time. Take the right leg down as the weights go out and up for nine. Keep the belly in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good job. Left heel down, right foot down, lower your hips down, and then bring those weights out wide again. If you need to take a little break and have the weights into the chest, no problem, but otherwise you can just keep going. We're going right into that other side. All right, lift those hips up, the weights go over the shoulders. This time lift onto the ball of that right foot, take the left leg up. Now we're doing 10 reps, keeping the hips up and on the ball of the foot. So down and up for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, keep the belly in, two, one. Good job, right heel down, left foot down, curl your hips down, and then bring the weights into the chest. Now we'll take a roll up with the weights. So take the legs long on the mat, flex both feet, Take those weights up over the shoulders, inhale. And as you exhale, curl the head and shoulders up, reach forward, pull yourself up to a tall spine, and then set those weights down at the top of the mat. And we'll do two more roll-ups without the weights. So roll the spine back down. Take the arms up, palms face forward, inhale, curl the head and shoulders. Exhale, reach and dive for the toes. Inhale, roll back down nice and slow, and then exhale, the arms go up. One more full round. Inhale, curl the head and shoulders. Exhale, reach and die for those toes. Inhale, roll back down. Exhale, the arms go up. Now we'll take a half round. Curl the head and shoulders. Reach and die for the toes. Pull yourself up to a tall spine, and then grab those weights once again. Variation of saw with the weights. So you'll go goal post your arms, cactus the arms, inhale, tall spine. As you exhale, take an overhead press, bring them back to the goal post arms, and then we'll twist to the right, back to center, overhead press, and down. Twist it to the left, center, overhead press, and down. Really nice. Make sure those feet are flexing and the legs are pressing heavy into the mat and make sure your spine is stretched nice and tall. If the weights ever get to be too much, you can always just use your fists and don't use the weights. Your choice, overhead press and down. Twist right, center, keep the shoulders away from the ears. Twist left and center, overhead press and down. We've got two more full rounds, right? Center, overhead press and down to the left and center, overhead press, and down. Last round, to the right, center, overhead press, and down. Last round, left, center, press, and down. Really nice job. Bring those weights to the chest, and then set them down at the top of the mat. Roll onto your back, and we'll take three rounds of neck pull. So interlace all 10 fingers behind the head. As you inhale, curl the head and shoulders up. As you exhale, reach and dive forward. 
Inhale, pull yourself up to that tall spine first, then C curve, roll it all the way back down. Two more rounds, curl the head and shoulders, reach and dive forward, pull yourself up, tall spine, roll it all the way back down. One more, curl the head and shoulders, reach and dive all the way forward, pull yourself up, tall spine, and then C curve, roll it all the way back down. Really nice. Let's start our series of five now. So bend your knees, legs into tabletop, and we'll set up for single leg stretch. Grab your right shin, extend that left leg to a high diagonal, and then start to switch it out right and left, right and left. So really focus on your form here. You want the toes pointing, full extension of each leg that's reaching forward, and the head and shoulders should be really high off of the mat. So try to get both shoulder blades off of the mat, the lower back pressing down, rib cage closed, right? and left, right and left. Keep going right and left. We've got five, left, four, left, three, left, two, left, one, left and rest. Lower the head and shoulders down. Really nice. We'll just ride right through our series of five here. Let's set up double leg stretch, legs into tabletop position. Hands behind the head, curl the head and shoulders up. As you inhale, extend both legs to a high diagonal. And as you exhale, scoop those arms in a full circle, hug the knees into the chest. Inhale to extend, exhale, scoop the knees into the chest. Keep going, reach and squeeze. Keep the head and shoulders high. Don't let that upper body wobble. Really focus on your form here. Just moving those arms and legs. Inhales to extend, exhales to scoop knees in. Keep going. See if you can get the head and shoulders a little higher. We're here for another five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Lower the head and shoulders down. Great, good work. Let's set up single straight leg stretch. Both legs straight up to the sky. Hands by your hips first. Curl the head and shoulders. Lower that left leg to hover. Hover. Grab your right shin from the outside. Switch it out left and right. Left and right. Left and right. Upper body not moving. Keep those shoulders off of the mat. Keep going. Try to kick each leg out of your hands. Really point those toes. Make sure all muscles around the kneecaps are engaged, nice and strong. Keep going. Five, four, press the lower back down. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. All right, we've just got two more in our series of five here. Let's set up double straight leg stretch. Both legs straight up to the sky or the ceiling of your inside. Hands by your hips, curl the head and shoulders up. Remember, if you wanna add more challenge, you can always interlace both hands behind the head. It's a slow lower down and an exhale right back up. Try to keep that lower back pressing down into the mat. Slow lower down, exhale right back up. Inhale down, exhale right back up. This one's a doozy, stay with it if you can. Keep going. Woo! Five, four, close those ribs. Three, two, one. Rest, hug those knees into the chest. All right, last one in our series of five here, the crisscross, legs into tabletop. Curl the head and shoulders up, hands behind the head. Opposite elbow to the opposite knee. Twist and twist, twist and twist twist and twist. Keep going. Twist and twist. Twist and twist. Twist, twist, twist and twist. Keep going. Twist, twist. Point those toes. Twist and twist. For five, twist, four, twist, three, twist, two, twist, one, twist and rest. Whew, good job. Nice work. All right, let's go into jackknife now. So if you remember the jackknife from any of the other exercises, we're just taking three rounds of it. The hands will go by your hips. If you want more challenge, you'll keep the legs straight down on the mat. 
If you need a little more support and you don't wanna have that extra challenge, you can start with the legs straight up to the sky. You'll press down into the mat, lift the hips all the way up, lower the legs just halfway down, lift the legs all the way up, and then roll the spine down. If you want the added challenge, both legs go all the way down. Just two more rounds. Push into the hands, lift those hips up, lower the legs just halfway down, lift the legs up, roll the spine down. Maybe you keep the legs up or take them all the way down. Just one more, here we go. Lifting up, lower halfway, lift all the way back up, lower all the way back down. Great job, let's take a roll up to transition. Flex both feet, arms face forward, palms up, curl the head and shoulders, reach and dive for those toes. And this time, scoop those legs around. Plant your left hand, plant your right hand. Meet me in a plank pose, top of a push-up. So get really nice and strong in your plank. Press into the balls of the feet. Knit those ribs together, curl your tailbone under slightly. Stay connected to your core. Spread the fingers wide on the mat. Make sure you're breathing. Do not hold your breath in this plank. Let's take a wide base in the plank. So take your feet as wide as the mat, and then we'll take knee squeezes to the opposite tricep. So take that right knee, tap your left tricep. Try to get above the elbow if you can, and then the right left knee across to the right tricep. Keep going just like that, alternating knee squeezes, cross, across 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 keep going try to keep that pelvis as stable as you possibly can twist twist we're here for ten nine eight seven breathe six five four three two one bring the feet back to hips with distance lift the hips to a downward facing dog stretch out those abdominal muscles a little bit here Go ahead and pedal out your dog. Bend the right knee, bend the left knee. Get some movement going. And then find some stillness here. Really push the fingertips into the mat. Spread those fingers wide. Feet about hips with distance apart. Hand shoulder with distance apart. Navel to spine. Lower belly draws in and up. You guys are doing great. Walk the hands to the back of the mat. Roll up to stand, one vertebra at a time, and then we'll do three times of a roll down, walk out to plank. So exhale, roll down. Inhale, walk it out to plank. Exhale, walk it back to the feet. Inhale, roll up to stand. Two more times, exhale, roll down. Inhale, walk it out. Exhale, walk it back. Inhale, roll it up. One more, exhale, roll down. Inhale, walk it out. Exhale, walk it back. Inhale, roll up to stand. And now we'll meet in a plank pose. So exhale, roll down. Walk it out. Find your plank pose. Feet hips with distance apart in this plank. And then drop those heels to the right. Roll open. Lift that left arm high to the sky. Stretch it up and over the ear. Lift those hips. And then bring the left arm by the side of the body and I want you to bend your knees and just sit those hips down for a moment. Coming into twist here. So your feet should be staggered. You kept your feet just the same. You can go ahead and place that left foot down and keep the right knife edge of the foot flexed. Keep your hand right in front of you. So for this next exercise, you do not want to sink into this right shoulder at all. You really want to press into the mat. Grip the mat with the fingertips. You'll start with the left arm by the side of your body. Lift up the hips. Reach the left arm all the way up and then twist. Stretch that left arm all the way underneath the body. Lift the hips as high as you can. Gaze underneath that right armpit and then sweep the arm all the way back up to the sky. Take it over the ear and then by the side of the body and you'll lower back down. Great, so this is called twist. We are taking a total of 10. So let's go again. Lift up the hips, reach, twist. Reach back to the sky, arm over the ear, arm by the side, hips go down. Lift and twist. Lift, reach, lower back down. So that's round three. Round four, lift, twist. Reach, stretch. 
stretch, lower back down. That's four. Lift, twist, reach, stretch, lower the hips back down. We're halfway there. We've got five more. Lift, twist, reach, stretch, lower back down. Four more. Lift those hips. Twist underneath the body. Reach up, stretch, lower the hips back down. Last three, hips up, twist, reach, stretch, lower the hips back down. Just two more. Lift up and twist, reach, stretch, lower the hips back down. All right, last round, here we go. Lift the hips up and twist. Reach, stretch, arm by the side, lower those hips back down. Great, good work. Let's meet in a plank pose. So lift the hips back up into your modified side plank, rainbow that left arm around, and find that plank pose. Lift up your right leg so you're in a three-limbed plank, and we'll just take some little pulses with the right leg here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, down dog split, lift the right leg high to the sky, bend the right knee and open the hip for a scorpion dog. Then straighten the right leg, square your hips, step the right foot forward, and lower that back knee down so you're in a lunge. You want your right knee tracking right over your right ankle. The belly stays drawing in and up. Take those arms, reach them forward, inhale. As you exhale, Spring forward, shift the weight into that right foot and fly the arms back as the left leg lifts and then come all the way back down into that lunge. Really nice and controlled. We'll do that a total of 10 times. So we've got nine, lift and balance, and down. Eight, seven, six, down to your seat. Lie down onto your back, legs into tabletop position. Take the arms up and over the head, inhale. As you exhale, teaser, come up for your teaser. Then I want you to tap the toes, lift the legs three times. Tap and lift, one more tap and lift, and then go all the way back down to the tabletop legs. Two more full rounds, so exhale up, tap and lift tap and lift, tap and lift. Lie back down. Last round, 
lifting up to that teaser. Tap the toes, lift, two, lift, and one, lift, roll back down, hug the knees into the chest. Rock side to side a few times to massage the lower back. And then we'll take a roll up to transition, left leg long, right leg long, arms up, curl the head and shoulders, reach and dive for those toes. Scoop your legs around, meet me in a plank pose, and then lift those hips up and back to downward facing dog. So we're doing that same flow all on the other side. I'm just gonna switch directions so that you can see me when we come into that twist. So slow down the breath in your down dog. And then when you're ready, go ahead and roll out to that plank pose. Drop both heels to the left. Reach that right arm up so you're in this modified side plank. Stretch the right arm up and over the ear. Lift those hips. And then right arm by the side of the body. Sit your hips all the way down. Try to keep your arm in that same position out in front of you. You're on the knife edge of your left foot and that right foot can be fully planted with the right knee bent so we can come into the twist on this other side. You'll start with the right hand by the body. You lift the hips, reach up to the sky. Then you twist underneath the body. Reach all the way back up, stretch, and then lower those hips back down. We've got nine more. Lift, twist, reach, and stretch. Arm down, lower the hips. That's round two, lift up and twist. Reach, stretch, lower back down. That's three. Lift, twist, reach, stretch, lower back down. That's four. Lift, twist, reach, stretch, Lower back down, that's five. We are halfway there. Lift those hips, twist, reach, stretch. Lower back down, that's six. Lift hips, twist under the body. Reach it back up, stretch. Lower back down, that's seven. We've just got three more. Lift the hips up, twist. Stretch, lower back down. Last two, lift, twist, reach, stretch, and back down. Just one more, lift, keep the hips lifted as you twist, reach, stretch, lower all the way back down. Great, good work. Lift back up into your modified side plank. Rainbow that right arm around and come into your regular high plank. Lift up that left leg, three limbed plank. Little pulses with that left leg for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down dog split, lift the left leg high, bend the left knee and open the hips, scorpion dog. Straighten the left leg, hip square. Step the left foot forward, lower that back knee down, and stand back into your lunge. So make sure that left ankle is right over your left knee, your back toes are tucked. Take those arms forward in front of the shoulders, inhale as you exhale, shift into that left foot, fly the arms back, balance, and then all the way back down into that lunge, nice and controlled. For nine, Seven, six, five, four, last three, two, one. Land in that lunge, genie those arms. You got it, now we're standing all the way up to balance. Grab your right thigh from underneath, straighten the leg, bend the knee, genie the arms, back to your lunge. You've got nine more. Come up, grab, straighten, bend, 
lower back down. Come up, straighten, bend, lower back down. That's three. Up, straighten, bend, lower back down. That's four. Come up, straighten, bend, lower back down. That's five. Come up, straighten, bend, lower back down. That's six. Come up, straighten, bend, lower back down. That's seven. Just three more. Come up, straighten, bend, lower back down. Two more. Come up, straighten, bend, lower back down. Last one. Come up, straighten, bend, lower back down. This time, come up to stand and bring the hands in prayer with the right knee into chest. And we'll cross that right ankle in front of the left, float the arms forward, and take that Pilates transition all the way down to your seat. I'm gonna flip back around so I'm facing the other way. You guys just stay right where you are. Coming into figure eight. So this is a variation of teaser. So we'll start from a lying down position. And you'll take the legs long on the mat. So this is a little more challenging here. Arms by the sides of the body to begin. Take the arms up and over the head, inhale. As you exhale, pull yourself up into your teaser. And then figure eight. Take a circle to the left, a circle to the right. Take the arms up, biceps by the ears. Lower all the way down. All right, just two more rounds like this. Come up to your tall teaser. Figure eight, sweep those arms, circle. Circle to the right, arms up. Lower all the way down. Just one more, inhale. Exhale up. Circle to the left, circle to the right. Arms up, biceps by the ears. And then lower all the way back down. Great, good work. Flex the feet, let's take a roll up transition. Curl the head and shoulders. Reach and dive for the toes. Scoop those legs around. Plant your left hand, right hand. Step to a plank. Lower down onto your forearms and come into a forearm plank. And just start to shift the weight forward and back. Forward and back. We're just here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, one. Lower those hips down. Sphinx pose, release the interlock of the hands, press the forearms down into the mat. Slow your breath. And then lower your chest and shoulders all the way down onto the mat. Those weights should be there at the top of the mat for you. Go ahead and grab them and bring them by the sides of the body, the palms facing up. Bring your feet a little bit wider than your hips. Point your toes, pull your belly in, and then lift head, chest, and shoulders with the weights off of the mat. And we're just gonna take little pulses, lift and lower with the weights for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now keep the weights there, hold still with the weights. Just tuck the chest up and down, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Weights by the sides of the mat. Take a child's pose to rest. Hips back, stretch out the spine, forehead to the mat. We're almost there, you guys. Let's come into a tabletop pose. <clears throat> Take around a pat cow to reset the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, arch, look up. Exhale to round. Come back to your neutral spine. Grab the weight to your left. Tuck it underneath your left knee. Squeeze it. Keep it there. Now we're gonna lift the left leg. Up and down. Nine. Eight. Keep the belly in. Seven. Try to keep those hips squared. Six. Five, keep squeezing that weight. Four, three, two, one. Now we'll take fire hydrants with the weight out and down. Nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now lift the weight, lift the leg up, excuse me, little pulses up and down for 10. Just little pulses, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower that left leg back down, grab the weight, place the weight underneath the left hand, extend the left leg back, grab that weight on your right hand, and we'll come into a plank pose. Take a wide base in your plank, just like we did earlier. It's a narrow row, just pull that right weight up and down, left weight up and down. Right, left, we're doing 10 total. Eight, left, seven, left, six, left, five, left, four, left, three, left, almost there, two, left, one, left. Listen, bring the feet back to hips with distance apart. Keep those weights. Lift the hips up and back to a down dog, right leg high to the sky. Step the right foot forward and you'll take the weights and use them as a bit of a kickstand, place them in front of you. Shift the weight to that right foot and you'll lift the left leg as high as you can and then tap it back down to your lunge. Up and down. For eight, seven, six, keep the belly in, five, four, three, two, one. Great, good work. Take those weights, step back to your plank, walk the weights to the back of the mat, roll up to stand and find a Pilates V with the feet. So heels together, toes apart. I'm just gonna turn so you can see what I'm doing. Zip up those inner thighs, pull your belly in and up, goal post those arms. Keep the breath nice and smooth as you lift onto the balls of the feet. You'll take the weights over the head and down and then the weights will go down and up. So nice shoulder work here, up and down, then down and up. Try to keep your shoulders in line with your elbows. Lift, down, weights down and up. That's three, four, that's five, Got five more. Last three. Lift and down, down, up. Last two, lift, down and up. Last one, down and up. Close those weights, bring the weights into your chest. Heel toe your feet back to hips with distance. Roll your spine down, walk it out to your plank, and then bring your knees down for tabletop. I'm just gonna flip sides so you can see what I'm doing. We're doing that same flow on the other side so you can release that left weight off to the left. Left hand down on the mat, tuck that right weight under your right knee. Hands under shoulders, shoulders over wrists. Lift that right leg up and down, squeezing the weight for nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Fire hydrants out and down. For nine, we've got 10 times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift the right leg up, little pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right knee down. Grab the weight, take, pay, place it underneath your right hand, grab the weight under your left hand, step back, find your plank pose, take a wide base in your plank. This time we'll take the right weight forward and down, left weight forward and down. Nine, left and down. Eight, left and down. Seven, left and down. Six, left 
and down. Five, left and down. Four, left and down. For three, left and down. Last two, left and down. One more, lift, left and down. Feet back to hips with distance. Lift into a downward facing dog with your weights. Lift the left leg high to the sky. Step it through, find a lunge, and then you'll take those weights forward. So you've got that little kickstand there for you. And then lift that right leg as high as you can, and then all the way back down. Nine, point your toes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and down. Weights down onto the mat. Step that left foot back, lower your knees down, place the weights off to the side, and let's take a few rounds of cat-cow. Drop the belly, arch the spine, look up, round the spine, press the mat away. Two more times, lift, and round. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Come back into a neutral spine, and then we'll take puppy pose. I'm just gonna shift back. You want your knees to stay right in line with your hips, and just start to walk the hands as far forward as you can. If possible, you want your chest and chin down onto the mat. If that is not available to you, you can just have a head down on the mat and just breathe into this nice shoulder stretch here. Slowing down the breath. Really nice job, we are almost there. Just breathe. Slowly start to work your way out of the puppy pose. Come back into your tabletop. And then walk your hands back towards your knees and just come into a seat. I'll turn so you can see me. Stretch the arms up and over the head and then cross that right arm in front of the body and hook your left elbow in front of that right arm and just take a nice shoulder stretch here. Slow down your breath. Great job. Go ahead, when you're ready, and switch. Sweep the arms back up. Left arm across, hook the right elbow crease across that left arm and give your left shoulder a nice stretch. And then just go ahead and shake your arms out a little bit, forward and back. And then we'll close it out with one round of push-ups. So go ahead and find your tabletop again. Sorry, I'm gonna go this way. Lift up into a down dog, walk the hands back to meet the feet, roll up to stand nice and slow, and then we'll just close it out with one round of push-ups. So you take an inhale, lengthen your spine, pull belly in, hollow as you exhale, round forward. Nice and slow, walk it out to plank, knees up or down, elbows next to your ribs, three Pilates style push-ups. One, two, three, and then lift the hips to down dog. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Roll up to stand and give yourselves a round of applause. Great, good work. Thank you for joining me today.